Alright guys, what's up? Al from It's Android Jord here. Today taking a, another full ROM review and tutorial of probably the latest thing on the Android community. This is the Espresso ROM. It's actually really interesting. So here you got a pretty hero style looking lock screen. You swipe it down still. And it says T-Mobile, time and date. And you just swipe it down just like the hero. And you get this really, really nice UI. So you pretty much get the HTC Sense widgets and this new layout down here. If I tap on the phone icon, I'll try to hide some contacts from you guys real fast. Make sure they don't pop up. And it's not loading very fast. As you can probably tell, I clicked the phone icon and it's still alright. There you go. You get this really, really cool dialer. And like up here, like it's a smart dialer, so when you start to dial, it'll actually start bringing up contacts here. That's one of my really cool features. And um has this really nice bar down here. Going home is uh, slight faster. You also notice these bubbles around um, your icons. So that also looks really nice. And you can actually open up your app drawer and you get all bubbles around all your icons. I just think that's a really cool PC. I mean, I mean wow, <laughs> I said PC because I saw a PC there. Um, it's a really cool feature. Um, you get you know all these working. What's actually amazing is the camera's actually already working, um, which is really crazy because you know they just got the end commander to work and. The camcorder was not originally working forever, and you know it hasn't even released the full dump yet. So the fact that they have it working so early is really cool, and I do believe it should work. There it is. So the camera is actually working there, and you can see my tripod there. And there it is. So it'll have flash and everything. This little grid that opens up there. Switch between photo and video and all your different settings. It's a really cool feature. So the camera is really nice. Um, I do not believe that the video works. I'm not sure. Le one, the time I tried it, it didn't. Also, you'll notice that there's nothing down here to let you know what screen you're on. There's actually five home screens on here. But up there, as you can see, there's nothing there either. But when you actually swipe, you get the little indicator to let you know what page you're on. And then when you stop swiping, it'll go away. I think that's a really, really cool feature. If I open up my messages, you'll see the bubble will glow blue and then open up the application. It's pretty much HTC Sense when you actually jump into the applications. So if I hit to compose new message, and it's not that quick, guys, but it is decent. And this is really just, again, eye candy. Um, and you get the, the HTC Sense keyboard, and I can go straight home. It's really, really fun UI. You get the HTC Sense widgets. Not each and every one of the widgets is there yet. And also, um, if you plug in your USB cable, you have to actually open up that application called Mount USB to actually mount it to your computer, just so you know about that. This is your contacts widget, and um, yeah, so you have that. The notification bar is really amazing. As you can see, when you swipe it down, this is your notification area that you can swipe up and down. And right here are your recent applications you've opened. And I can, I can actually just jump right to any of the applications. So if I'm in this application, but I want to go to camera, and I don't want to go home and open up the application drawer and go there. I can actually just go right here and go straight to the camera. That's one of my favorite features about this ROM, and it's really, really cool. I'll go ahead and go back home. And yeah, so you have that. I actually do like the bubbles a lot more. It makes it a little more, makes it look more organized, I guess. Like when you long press them, you can move them around and you get the highlight field around it. So you know exactly where you're going to place it. And you can let go. And of course, I can long press any widgets I have and delete them off with that trash can down there. And then long press on the screen. And there's shortcut widgets and folders. Here are the widgets. You can get more HTC widgets. You have analog clock, bookmarks, calendar. You have two calendars, which is pretty interesting. This is the stock Android calendar, I believe. We'll go ahead and find out in a second. Yeah, so this is the stock Android calendar. And of course, you can move that off. But if I long press again, so basically when you see two of the same thing, the first set is the HTC calendars. See a little bit of lag right here. 
And I believe you can swipe through them. Yeah, you can actually swipe through those. And you get this, you know, new looking UI, fresh looking stuff down here. Did not mean to do that, sorry. But yeah, it's just, it's not fully functional yet at all. I do know Wi-Fi is working. I read the change log and everything. Wi-Fi is working. A lot of things are working. I don't think Bluetooth is working. But yeah, it's just a really, really cool ROM to just play around with for a second. If you guys want to flash it, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to flash it right now. Oh, and one huge thing you guys should know is that it's basically Sense UI um, with it's Android 2.1. So we'll go ahead and tap menu and go to settings. I'll show you this last thing. And this does require the death SPL. Um, so I'll put the tutorial right here. You have to have the death SPL. If I go to about phone, you can see right away it's the new settings. Um, we'll go to phone identity. You know, it's the HTC Espresso. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so, but this is Android 2.1. I'm not sure if there's auto rotate on the home screen. I'll check right now. Alright, but anyway, let's go ahead and learn how to get this on our phone. So once again, you need the Death SPL. Death SPL. Oh, it looks like it rotated. Alright, it seems to be rotated. But anyways, you need the Death SPL and you need USD card partition, EXT4, 128 megabytes Linux op, and FAT32. You're just going to mount your um, phone to the computer. So plug in the USB cable. And I'm going to hit mount USB. And then I'm just going to go to the computer. Alright guys, and now that we're at our computer, open up the root of your SD card. And drag over the Espresso file wherever you downloaded it onto the root of your SD card. So just drag it over and delete any file off of it before that. And once that is dragged, once it's dragged over, it's gonna be called espresso underscore v3 underscore death spl because it requires it. And then you're just gonna safely eject your phone and go back to the computer. All right, now that we have it copied on, just go ahead and unplug the USB cable from the phone and wait for any logos that pop up here to go away. And then just power off your phone. So hold down the end call button. There's the preparing SD card logo. It goes away. Tap power off and hit OK. And once again guys you need the death SPL and you need your SD card partition both tutorials will pop up right now. So go ahead and turn the phone back on using home and power and it'll take you to the T-Mobile G1 screen and of course the recovery image and you probably know to just wipe and flash the ROM. I already have the death SPL installed so it will work for me. Here it is. So to scroll down to wipe and do a full data wipe and then go back go back to flash zip from SD card and flash the espresso ROM alright and once it says install from SD card complete just hit reboot system now alright guys and once you see this screen you've officially flashed the espresso ROM on your G1 make sure to rate this video five stars all you have to do is click a button comment if you guys need any help and subscribe